Can you actually believe that this slipper is under $1 project? Yeah, I'm gonna justify my saying for that by showing you all the materials and the price that I paid for it. Now, you're gonna need these soles like this here. Um, yeah, you can get your own size, uh, your preferred size. I've got a 5, 6, and 7. Uh, I got this from a local cobbler and i paid only 60 rupees for each pair doesn't matter if the size are big or small so each pair cost me 60 rupees i also use a macrame yarn like this i believe this is uh, the thickness is uh, one millimeter and per bunch like this i paid only 20 rupees for this you can also get it from amazon uh, if you do not find it in your local store but yeah so here's the macrame yarn and once you make this into a ball you will get this big of a ball i think this is about 25 grams and then after you use this ball for making the pairs it is more than sufficient i'll actually show you the multicolored ones that i use here i'm still left with this many yarn i can still make one more slipper out of this easily so yeah so uh, 60 for this and 20 for the yarn that is about 80 rupees and the leftover if you see yeah definitely that, that comes to below 70 so um yeah below one dollar right exactly so that's my justification and i have shown you these materials now uh, we also need a hook size that's a 1.75 millimeter or a small hook size for this uh, in case you do not have this small of a hook size you can go down to a two millimeter because if you look at them closely they are more or less the same yeah that's 7.5 and two that's not much of a difference so you can even use a two millimeter crochet hook and then you will need a yarn cutting scissor and that's it i believe there are many ways to construct this kind of slipper but i have come up with a very simple pattern a three row repeat so even the beginners can follow it's just two rows of single crochet then decrease in the third row two rows of single crochet decrease two rows of single crochet decrease just like that very simple but it won't be as comfortable as working with wool mm. because the material is a little different and we're gonna be working with the hard uh, surface so now before we begin putting one single crochet all around the slipper uh, what i want you to understand is that this foundation is very important and you can actually put single crochet you can start from anywhere and end it anywhere but the problem is that if you do that you're gonna have to cut the yarn and then you'd be needing to hide the tail and especially in a very thin border like this hiding tail is not preferable uh, this is the result of me having to hide the tail so we do not want this result instead we want a very smooth finish like this where you do not have to hide the tails right so for that you need to be able to calculate from where exactly your single crochet should start so that it would be a smooth project so take your slippers from the very top of the toe to the heel and divide it into half right now let's say we've divided the slipper into half now this is the first method divide into half and take the upper portion a little smaller than half go up a little bit and start your single crochet from around here crochet all around come and end it here and then you can directly start chaining for this part right that is one method you can do that or there is another one if you look at the slipper you will always see this 
curve, right? This curve. So from this part, from where the curve ends, this is going to be a straight line. So take the place from where the curve ends. You can actually see even if, yeah. Take the place from where the curve ends and mark your stitch. I would recommend you to start from the right foot or the right slipper. Once you're done with the right foot, for the left part, you can just keep it like that. See where your single crochet should start from and directly start it. You don't have to measure all over again. I hope this makes sense, right? So, yeah, I think I've been explaining for quite some time now. So, let's get on with the construction. All right, now this is the mark stitched and we're going to start by making a slip knot if you see here the direction of my needle is going from outside towards the inside it is not uh, coming out like this right uh, that's it this is not the case so uh, if you if you um, make your single crochet in this manner from inside towards the outside the border will look will not look nice so to prevent that i just want to point that out for you outside towards the inside is the right way to construct it's not the right or wrong way but uh, that makes the border look nicer so slip knot now chain one to secure this does not count as one single crochet and for the stitches here you can ask the cobbler to put it for you when you are purchasing the sole of the slipper or if you have the tools then you can do it yourself too chain one to secure yeah done now I'm going to put single crochet three single crochets into this you can put three single crochet into each of these stitches or if the stitch are small you can put two single crochet uh, depending on the length of this stitch here you can put two or three single crochet it's not a finite number and as I've always done it in my other videos, I'll be taking this tail along so that uh, I'll be weaving the ends in as I crochet. So I'll just continue putting three single crochet into each of these stitches all around. And once I've completed the round, I'll come back and show you what to do next. Now I've completed the round and I'll be joining it with a slip stitch here. Slip stitch and now chain up one, two, three, four, chain 38. Keep it straight like this for whatever the size of the slipper once it reach the other edge take and measure maybe the length of the thumb extra thumb length should be there uh, for this I'm I chain only 35 because this was number five and for number six I am chaining 38 three more uh, chains because the size increased a little bit right so yeah now we're gonna join with this one here slip stitch pick up and then slip stitch right then move on to the next stitch available here insert your hook and one single crochet this one right here is the slip stitch from before so we're not going to work into that one we'll start from here one 
one single crochet into each of the stitch now this is the stitch from where we began our chain so we will move to the next stitch here pull the yarn through and slip stitch it like that and see when you slip stitch you make a stitch here there is a fake stitch here it looks like a stitch but that's not a stitch we have to skip this in the next row when we work same like we did this side otherwise we'll be increasing the uh, stitch count and our sandal will not be uh, giving its form so then next we move to the next stitch and single crochet Just pull the yarn single crochet getting ready for the next round right then we turn our work see we have to skip this stitch here this is where our chain is coming out from right now then this is the fake stitch and we're going to work from here so this will be where our first single crochet will be in every corner we have to keep that in mind for the first two rows we are going to work a simple single crochet so this is the single crochet first row we have completed second row will complete the second row and in the third row i will show you how to decrease work a single crochet go to this stitch slip stitch slip stitch into the next stitch make a single crochet and this single crochet is getting ready for the next stitch here next row i mean then we are going to skip this because this is a fake fake stitch and we're going to start from here so we take one single crochet now we are going to do an invisible decrease we're going to decrease this side and this side one stitch each okay so take the first uh only the front loop of this one and the front loop of the next stitch yarn over pull through all two and single crochet on top of it now that is an invisible decrease just keep doing one single crochet all across when you're left with three stitches i'll show you what to do next now we are left with three stitches one two and three so we'll decrease first second stitch single crochet then we're gonna single crochet into the last stitch and then Join it with a slip stitch and get ready for the next round by single crochet. Alright. Now we are going to repeat these three rows all over until we have reached about here. Okay. And keep in mind that there is a fake stitch here and that we should not work there. Alright. So if we happen to work in the fake stitch here then uh, our chapel will just <laughs> keep increasing and it will not give the shape like this that it needs to give uh, going smaller right so just be careful not to work into that one yeah so i have worked row four and five single crochet row and now this will be a decreasing row again so for the decreasing row single crochet 
and we are going to decrease this one and this next stitch here do an invisible decrease single crochet all the way and now three stitch remains we are going to take this one and this front loop pull through both the loops single crochet and then single crochet on the last stitch join it with a slip stitch go to the next stitch single crochet that is more like chaining up one for the next row so continue to do this and I'll meet you after I've reached my place. So this is after row 17 and this is what it looks like. This is the last stitch. And now to finish it off slip stitch and then chain up one to secure and we can cut off the yarn if you want to uh, make this uh, belt yeah if you want to make this belt uh, bigger then you can keep on increasing one more row repeat cut off the yarn and that's it now to hide this tail bring this down towards the inside of the sandal now we've brought this tail inside and we are we'll just hide it along the along this rows inside right so i'll just bring it down like this i hope you can see in the second row i'll just go in and so i go inside grab this Pull them through. Pull them through. Now I'll repeat this two, three more times. That's it. And now I'm just trim off. And that's it now for the left part like I said before uh, just keep it together like this it will be somewhere here so I would begin my work from here now I could have started the work from here but I'm going to start from this side because uh, when we reach this portion, we are going to chain up and then join this side, right? So for a right-handed person, chaining up from left and going towards the right side is much better, at least for me. So instead of starting from this side, I'm just going to start from here. And the process, the rest are the same. 
there's no difference in it and so that's it so i'll just continue to make the other side and i'll show you what it looks like and so finally here is the finished slipper and this is how we make this very easy to crochet slipper i hope you like this video tutorial and let me know which color combo do you prefer uh, comment down below i would love to hear from you and if you happen to make this slipper please tag me on instagram and also on facebook i would very much love to show off your work in my stories and in our communities and so yeah that's it for today thank you so much guys i hope you like this video tutorial and if you do please don't forget to give a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video take care and bye for now